Missouri. This is the farm home of Jesse James. And um, uh, he was buried over there, uh, but uh, he's not anymore. There was like a little gravestone and then a big one. We did show, we're, um, we're gonna show you the small one, okay? Bye. The James Family Farm in Kearney, Missouri gives an interesting look into the lives of Frank and Jesse James before they were outlaws. In 1978, Clay County purchased the farmhouse and 40-acre site from Jesse's grandsons. The museum here also has many unique artifacts directly from the James family, including Jesse's boots and his original casket on display. I don't know display this case or donated by the granddaughter of Jesse James. Great grandson of Jesse James. It's hmm. oh, pretty old stuff. The legacy of the highway man. Yes. Wow. Medical kit of Dr. Reuben Samuel, stepfather of the Jameses. Look at that. What is they the could saw your injured leg off with that thing. Sometimes they had to. Mother of the James boys. Stepfather. There's Zelda, their mother. That's her Zerelda. Her sewing machine. Look at that. That's an old sewing machine. That's an old machine. Oh, family Bible. Those are neat. It's this way. Oh, there's more stuff in here. Jesse James Grave. It was moved to the family plot in Kearney, Missouri, where it is today. Original gravesite. Whoa, what is that? Casket in which Jesse James was buried. Buried in an elegant casket provided by law enforcement in the yard of his birthplace. Hmm. The original casket, having deteriorated, was thrown back into the grave and remains placed in a new one. The original casket was discovered during the 1978 archaeological excavation. So is that the original one? Yeah. That was all that was left of it, just the top. Wow. There he is. Killed right there. Oh, look at what it looked like when they dug it up. Jesse James's chair. A feather duster Jesse James was holding when shot. Oh. He's holding picture a Jesse. duster when he got shot. Yeah, so this picture he was dusting and straightening the time Robert Ford shot him. I'm 
Robert. Look at these. Oh. Look at that little hands on the casket handles. Original handles of original casket in case. Wow. Bullet found in the original casket. Recovered near the remains of the right foot. We're going up to the Jesse James family farm house. There it is. This is, this is a big farm. Mm hmm. I thought he was buried here, but I guess not. Uh, the front part of the house here, down to about the dividing line where the foundation is different, that's actually an 1893 chip house that was, we think, ordered from Sears by Jesse's mother's relative. All the furnishings you see inside the house did come back from the family, so everything is original to the family. The room on the left was Frank and Annie's room. Annie was a school teacher from Independence, didn't care for the tourism part at all. She would sit in there in her sewing machine, which you'll be able to see on the right hand side. She would shut the connecting door between the two rooms. Frank would do all the tours through the house he wanted, and everybody went home. <laughs> there are two windows at the end. That's part of a 1938 kitchen added by Frank's son Bob and his wife May. Just out a little more modern than kitchen. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, and I like to tell the youngsters on the tour the old outhouse over there. They never had running water. Thank you, man. <laughs> never had running water in the house at all. So the old outhouse over there, that was the only bathroom they ever had, except they had a chamber pot under the bed, which you could use if it was really snowy and cold and you didn't want to get up and go to the outhouse. Anyway, uh, feel free to step up there, look inside, and then I'll just catch up with you guys on the other side there. So is that is that where the burial was? That's where he was originally buried until 1902. In 1900, um, uh, his wife died. The kids wanted to bury their mother out here next to their dad. At that point, people were being discouraged from burying family in the backyard. Mm -hmm. So what they did was they buried her at Mount Olivet Cemetery in Kearney. Two years later, they dug him, the kids dug him up, took him into town, and buried him is next it, to his wife. Is there now? It, that's where he is now. Oh, I've been here off and on. Oh, neat. Look at that. Can you see it? Sort of? I can't really see. It's a mud. So, Robbie, describe what you see in there for us. So, I see a bed right here. See a bed there? Yep. What do you see on the walls? What is going on with the wall up there and the wallpaper? It's breaking. It's peeling off, isn't it? Here, let's look at the, let's look at the outhouse. This is probably a replica. Oh, it's a two-seater, too. Does that mean that, uh oh, there's a wasp nest in there. And two people can flying. go at once, or you choose your side. <laughs> I never understood that. Oh, big, big uh, fireplace. That's a ginormous fireplace. You can, it, Here's where you got your water from as well. Does it go up? Yeah. All the way up? Yep. Yeah. There would have been a well under there. This would be the well cover. You know what you did with that thing over there? Yes. What? You know that? Yeah, that's oh. how you got water. I mean, it was like a sand something down. Sharpen things with it? Yeah. Axes? 
So Robbie, that's where Jesse James was buried for a number of years. Is he, he's not buried there anymore. No. But he certainly was for quite a while. If somebody stepped in there, he would have been standing right where Jesse, Jesse James used I to wonder, be buried. I wonder what that little stone is there. This one? He was right here. They moved him to be next to his wife. You wonder what this is? This? Yeah. That's a tiny gravestone. I wonder whose it was. Gravestone this was? Yeah. That that was his tiny gravestone. Oh. That's it says J W J for James. Many owned slaves, including the James family. It's a reconstruction of slave quarters, as it would appear have appeared in the 1870s and 1880s. So kind of like a cabin. This is, yeah, pretty bare, huh? Not much to it. James was, Jesse James was plowing the fields near his location in 1863 when militia soldiers surrounded him and demanded, demanded information on the whereabouts of his brother Frank. When he refused to answer, the soldiers whipped him. The violence and hatred of the Civil War led Jesse to join the guerrilla forces. Come on! Yeah, but it's kind of heavy. But it's nice. Robbie, what did you I think? I got a pocket knife. What did you think about the Jesse James Farm Museum and Museum Store? Pretty good? It's worth a stop. Like that. We're going to go see the Jesse James Gary. Are we in, still in Kearney, Missouri? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So let's go. There you have signs now. Yeah, I see the W. Sasson, April 3rd, 1882. Jesse James. Jesse James. And a sign. Jesse James. So, supposedly, this is actually his body that they exhumed it and did tests and DNA tests on it. And it is, this is where Jesse James is buried. So, um, I'm standing on top of him. Yes, you are. Give there has been controversy, but this is where he is buried. Final resting place. We're in Liberty, Missouri to see the Jesse James Bank Robbery site. So let's go. She said they got away with almost sixty thousand dollars. Oh, there's a bank vault. Yeah. Oh. Have you ever been in a vault, Robbie? Oh um, no. Well, actually, kind of. 
Oh, and we still won't go in there. <laughs> wow, look at that. There he is. There sure is. Look at that. Look how they made this. She said that they can't get that out because it won't go through the door. You'd have to break this whole. Okay, she says the only reason it's here is because I can't get it out of there. What's even in it? There's nothing in it, so how is it? Well, you would. That's how you would measure how much gold you had. You'd put something in here that weighed, you know, two ounces, and then you'd put enough gold in there so you get two ounces of gold or, or whatever. Pretty neat. This is a really cool bank. So, Ravi, you'd be here, be the teller. People would come up there and they'd want their, their money. Here, you be the teller. Ready? So, hold up. Give me all the money. Go get it safe back there, mister. Now bring it out. Bring it out. Good. <laughs> All right. Ten ceilings. It's pretty neat, huh? Okay, what did you think of the vault? It's cool. So um uh, You don't want to be shut in there, do you? You have to wait till morning and somebody will let you out. Oh okay. if you want to look back there at some of the photos the Whitemore family has collected over the years, we've got that for you to see. Okay, sure. perfect, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, okay. Wait, oh I already have one of those. Mm-hmm. We got a couple. What is this? Gonna have some Jesse James socks. Wait. Oh, <laughs> neat. Who is that on there? Uh, uh, I can't remember his name. Who's on the hundred dollar bill? Benjamin Franklin? Yeah. Benjamin? Like. What'd you think of the Jesse James Bank Museum? Somebody locked me out of my own bank. <laughs> That's kind of neat. They restored it, didn't they? But everything's original except for the paint. <laughs> It says July 21st, 1873. Should we go look at it? Yes. All right. The site of the first train robbery in the West committed by the notorious 
Jesse James and his gang of outlaws. See, this is how he did it, Robbie. Right there. Derailed it, I guess. Made it stop. Can you touch that? Right there? I'm never washing this. No. <laughs> Part of his gang, yeah, it says, Jesse James and a notorious gang of outlaws staged the world's first robbery of a moving train the evening July 21, 1873, a mile and a half west of Adair. Yeah. $75,000 in gold from Cheyenne region was coming through Adair. How did he know that? Jesse sent his brother, Frank James, to Omaha to learn when the gold ship was reached there. in St. Joseph, Missouri. It's where Jesse James was last living when he was killed. We're here too late, so we can't go in. Apparently inside they have a replica of his skull. They have the coffin handles. Outlaw Jesse James was shot and killed in this house April 3rd, 1882. It was then at 1318 Lafayette on the hill above Petit House. It was moved here in 1977. This is not where it originally was. Anyway, there it is.